Beach FM, locals talking to locals. It's that time of the day, time to catch up with Hannah Swartz, Kapiti Coast District Council's Green Gardener. Nice to see you've got some clothes on. <laughs> yes, yes, we've got clothes on. So, but um, we today we're talking about naked ladies. Oh, and yes. you've brought me in a naked lady. Yes, there's a naked lady in the studio. She is sitting in a pot <laughs> in front of me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. We're talking about amaryllis bent belladonna, the naked lady bulb that um, you know that you'll see around the place flowering like crazy at the moment um they're often pink but also sometimes white so they're like quite a quite a light pink and they've got a beautiful trumpet shaped mm. many tra- many flowers on the one stem and a beautiful scent i don't know if you've ever noticed no because it's not a not a powerful scent but if you pick one or you know or sitting near to one you'll notice they've got a lovely scent oh, so wow. yeah it's all together a very good plant and one another thing I love about it is it's totally bomb proof and <laughs> you know you'll see them growing out in paddocks where yeah there used to be a house 100 years ago and, yeah um or in the sand dunes they grow in pure sand you know so they're really um really valuable plant in Kapiti gardens because mm. you know we all like plants that look after themselves don't we that you don't have to molly coddle and that look pretty as yeah, well and yeah and smell nice so yeah. um i think the reason they're called the naked lady of course is that they come up at the moment the bulb you know the over over summer there's nothing to see there's just a big bulb, and the bulbs are big. They're like the size of, you know... It's like a softball. Yeah, 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 it is. It's very like a softball, very round and papery. Um, and they sit on the surface, and then yeah. the the flowers come up without any leaves. So that's why they're called the, the naked lady, mm. because um, the leaves come afterwards. It's unusual. It is, it is. Um, yeah, so Amaryllis belladonna... Uh, I should know, actually. I should have looked it up. I believe they're from South Africa, but I could be wrong about that. So, so um, Is belladonna the deadly nightshade plant as well? Yeah, that's also known as belladonna, but um, belladonna is um, Italian for beautiful lady. Yes. Yes, so they're the, the beautiful ladies of the garden. And, yeah, of course, just a reminder that bulbs of all sorts are really good. Um, you know, often when you're planting your garden, you, you're thinking about um, shrubs and perennials. But mm. don't forget about the bulbs because they're often, you know, they're but but might cost a bit more to, to get in the first place. But they'll come back year after year after year after year. And also really good in pots. So, you know, mm. you can move them in and out of your patio or move them in and around your garden when they're flowering. Take them away when they're not flowering, and yeah, yeah, and then they'll surprise you year after year as well when you go out to the garden. Oh yeah. no, there's a naked lady <laughs> out there. The naked ladies, yeah. <laughs> Oh, go and look it up, naked ladies. They're beautiful. And thank you very much for my wee gift, Hannah. Oh, you're welcome. We'll catch you on Friday. Cheers. 106.3 BGFM.